How do you flip a switch in Minecraft and flip a light on in real life? Hey guys, it's Chad. Recently, I got a few Philips Hue bulbs, the light bulbs that are connected to the internet, internet of things, devices, and I have found a way to turn these on and off from within inside of Minecraft. I think it's really, really cool, so here's how you do it. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is follow the link in the description and head on over to this GitHub page. Uh, it gives you instructions, but I'll be honest, some of the, they, uh, they almost seem hastily uh, written because step one is to download Minecraft jar and step five is to download Minecraft jar. Uh, both are the same step, uh, a little bit weird. Uh, so, uh, your first step is actually to go ahead and download the latest Minecraft jar. And that is the server file that will be running next. And also if it asks, uh, you know, this is this some malicious thing. Uh, it is not. So don't worry about it. Uh, go ahead and drag that into a folder. You're going to need to basically create a folder for all of this because it will expand and uh, you want to keep everything into a folder. Also rename, uh, get rid of, if if like me, you've downloaded multiple uh, Minecraft jars, rename it to uh, it without that thing at the end. Next, you're going to install Node.js. Node.js is very simple. It's just a simple install. I've already done it on this computer, but it just downloads an exe. Run it and make sure that Node.js is installed. This is a framework for other uh, things to use, uh, so like this program here, to use this framework to get things done. Uh, next, go ahead and download the actual project which is this zip right here, and put this into the same folder that you have your server. And you can go ahead and take all of these things and drag them into that folder. We actually don't need to keep the zip around anymore because we have all the files. Now you can see the Minecraft Hue setup bat. This is what we will run. And it brings up this command prompt and uh, uh, it, it runs through its setup. Now, uh, you need to enter in your Minecraft username. I believe this is so it will op you later. So it's uh, simple enough. Just go ahead and type in your username. And then you'll have to click the uh, button on top of the bridge. So your Philips Hue comes with a bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and click that right now. And it will run through the timer even if uh, the, um, even if the thing is already, uh, already pressed, you can see that it says it successfully found the hues and wrote to Phillips hue.json, which is great. Uh, and you can either wait until the timer, uh, ends, or you can just hit any key and it will start up the, uh, the server. So you can see that it's just as if you started a server for the very first time, uh, it's preparing the spawn area and getting the whole server stuff uh, put together. Now that it is finished, we don't need this anymore, so we can just go ahead and close that. Also, if you want to add your own world, instead of just playing on the world that it created, change this folder right here. This is your world folder, uh, and you can just go into your Minecraft folder, go to saves, and choose whatever you want, uh, I would suggest copying it instead of moving it. So you have kind of a backup right here on your saves and then you could move it back once you're finished uh, playing around or maybe you just play there all the time. Um, but anyway, once you have that over there, rename this to world, uh, rename the folder to world. And finally, before you start up, change the server.properties uh, to include a, a command block. So uh, right down here, enable command blocks. Uh, make sure that is set to true. And then you can see the start Minecraft dot bat. Go ahead and double click that. Once that's all finished running, go ahead and open up actual Minecraft. Now inside of Minecraft, you are gonna go ahead and choose multiplayer and add a server, and for the address, do localhost. It's right here. I'm going to go ahead and move that up to the top. 
Uh, this is just running on your local machine. Uh, and you could put in the IP address of your machine, but because it's running right here, you can just type in localhost. Go ahead and join, and you'll notice that in the command uh, over here, right here, you can see that OMG Chad joined the game. I've successfully logged on, and this is the little world that we just created. Uh, what you can do is if you're running, you know, an actual, uh, you know, multiplayer server or anything like that, you could just run this on the server instead. We're going to go ahead and give myself game mode and then give myself a command block. Find a place to put down your command block, doesn't matter where. And the command that you're going to have set is say, turn on or say, you know, turn off if you want to turn off the thing. And then the number of your light. So uh, this is going to be number one. So we're going to hit done there. And then we're going to put this one down and do say turn off number one as well. And once we're done, we can put down some redstone and give ourselves face cam. So you can see I have three hue lights set up right now. This is number one, number two, and number three very easy so uh number one is actually already turned on so if we just hit this it will turn off the hue light and if we do this it will turn on the hue light so let me set up a little bit of a situation here so i have set up a little contraption here uh in this nice room you know this could be my house inside of minecraft uh, as long as you don't look that way. Uh, anyway, so I have uh, light one, two, and three. And how I have this set up is uh, normally, in America at least, whenever you flip a switch on, it points upwards. So if the switch is pointed upwards, the light will also be on. So uh, light two right now is turned off behind me. So if I flip that, it'll turn on. If I flip it off, it will turn off. So let's turn off all of the lights. Right now, they're all off. We can turn them all on. And this is using a really simple redstone situation on the back end. Uh, all we do is we have the switch right here into a repeater into this block. If there is no redstone signal, so if the uh, block is off, uh, this will be powered to this command block, which is the turn on command block. All of these are turn on one through three. If it is then switched uh, to powered mode. In fact, uh, this is interesting. Uh, the default is up and then it actually is powered when the switch is turned down, but I have it the opposite way uh, where if the switch is down, then it is off, uh, which would be a little confusing anyway. So once I uh, switch the flip down, uh, once I flip the switch down, then there will be a redstone signal, which will turn this off and send the redstone signal this way to this, which is the turn off switch. So we want to have a little bit of a window to our situation over here. You can see that once I switch this, it goes through and to that command block. And then when I flip it the other way, it turns uh, the other way, which is really, really cool. So now I can change the hue lights. Uh, you're going to have to use a third party situation to change the color of the light if uh, you don't like the color. But uh, I think that this is pretty cool. If you want to actually turn on the, your lights inside of Minecraft, now you can. I think this is way cool. You can, of course, find links to the GitHub repository that I used in the description down below. If you think this is super cool, please leave a like on this video. Make sure you also subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. See you next time. Bye.